today's lesson, we are going to practice some of the things that we've learned. We are going to practice um, creating a Word document and editing it using font, font size, inserting images, um, quick styles, and alignment. So I have a document already created for you. So I'm going to start with changing the font size. Remember in the lesson that we dealt with editing, you have to be able to select your text before you can change anything. So I am going to select the title and I'm going to change the font size in the font group. In the font size, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to choose 16 and I have changed the font size. I'm also going to change the font color of the same heading. So I'm going to highlight the heading and next to font color in the font group, I'm going to click on the drop down menu and from the color palette, I'm going to choose red. And it's changed the font color to red. Um, you might want to change your line spacing and your paragraph spacing. So to do that, I am going to select a couple of paragraphs on the first page. In the paragraph group, I'm going to click on the drop down menu. And in the indents and spacing, I am going to choose a line spacing of one and a half lines. And I'm going to choose my spacing before a paragraph, I'm going to make 12. And after the paragraph, I'm going to make 12. Once I've made my selection, I'm going to say OK. And you'll immediately notice that the spacing between your lines has increased as well as the spacing between your paragraphs. Now, if you're not happy with your choice of um, heading, you can use the built-in styles that Microsoft Word has. So I'm going to highlight this. And in my home group, in styles, I'm going to click on the arrow. And it gives me a whole lot of options of styles that I can choose. So I am going to choose, I'm going to choose heading, now I quite like type, now I'm going to choose heading one. So if I click on heading one, it automatically gets formatted to the default style of heading one in Microsoft Word. I'm going to highlight another heading and this time I'm going to choose heading 2. And it's just been formatted a little bit differently to heading 1. Um, also, if I'm not happy with where certain text is in my document, do you remember you can move it or you can copy it somewhere else? I am going to choose the first paragraph. And I'm going to move this paragraph to the end of the document. Remember, there's a difference between moving and copying. If you move it, you are going to take it completely from its original place and put it in a new place. And if you copy it, you are leaving a copy of the same paragraph where it was and just taking a copy with you. So I am going to go and click on the cut button. I'm going to move to the end of my document and I'm going to choose paste and my, doc my paragraph of text has been moved from the beginning of the document to the end of the document. Right, once you're happy with the way your document looks, you might want to insert an image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor where I want my image inserted I'm going to click on insert. We want a picture. I'm going to go and find where my picture is. I'm going to choose a picture and I'm going to click on insert. And the image will have been inserted in your document. Okay, just like we practiced earlier, you can resize your image if it's too large, just like this one. So we're going to use the picture handles to drag the image smaller. And then I'm going to use the text wrapping again and square so that I can move my picture wherever I actually want it on my page. And that brings us to the end of our practice lesson on editing and formatting text and inserting images.